Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part 14 of the Final Fantasy IV Let's Play. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for optional side quests. Ding, 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 Thank you, Matt. <laughs> you probably already inserted that little joke clip in there, but I wanted to do it anyway. Well, uh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I missed that guy already. Anyway, the Although Underworld the has a few places to visit, not many, but they're all optional. The first destination is Tamra, the only other village in here besides the Dwarven Castle. Well, guess what? They're inhabited by dwarves, so that really matters fuck all to me. Yes. Yes, it does. Ooh, Phoenix Downs. Well, I'm going to stock on the Phoenix Downs because I think I'm going to need them for the trip up ahead. You can also buy diamond equipment here, uh, which is pretty sturdy stuff for this point of the game. And I, I hope so, considering it's diamond. Yes, it is. And... You know, considering that I'm racking up the dough and the fact that I opened up that chest in the Tower of Babel that contained 82,000 gold. I was right. You know, I, every time you say that, I kind of want to match up the Price is Right victory bell. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> I would go into a Rod Roddy impersonation, but I can't talk that fast without mumbling like a fucking moron. I was going to say, you can't talk like him because he's dead. Well, well I could impersonate him, <laughs> but I, uh, you know. I can too. Say. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> anyway, so we we're, we're <laughs> fuck you, Matt. That's horrible. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> we have new equipment. We're selling off all the old shit because I don't feel like visiting the fat chocobo. I don't think you can visit the fat chocobo down here. He just becomes fat chicken. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know he's in a dwarven castle, but uh. Oh. Yeah, but he's away from the magma, too. I'm gonna buy the chain whip here for Rydia. She's not really a physical attacker, but I like having an upgraded whip for her anyway. Yeah, it's one of those things you don't fully neglect. Again, going off the Final Fantasy twelve here a bit. Usually, you could have the Mage Pinello attack normally. Yeah. I, I mean, you could have her do magic like she's supposed to be doing. But, if you give her a mace, which cap, which does a weird little formula where the, magic, the higher the magic attack stat is, the more physical damage it does. Yeah. You can give that to her if you ever wanted to. I never find MP a problem in that game, but it's nice to have. Well, with Rydia, it's, uh, whips have a chance of paralyzing an enemy. Kind of like Elena from Persona 1, yeah. Yeah, so I like to do that every once in a while just to get an enemy to stop fucking attacking me. Right. That's that's very helpful. Okay, so... Although I have to admit, God forbid you fight a demon who's a sadist. Or a what, masochist. What are these optional side quests, you may ask? Well, ladies and gentlemen... I spy with my little eyes something that begins with... Oh. Well... Generally, the two places in the uh, the other two places in the underworld you can visit are the Sylph Cave and the Fey March. The Fey March we'll be going to later, but first we're going to the Sylph Cave. Generally speaking, people tend to not do these until after later events in the game. But me, once I have access to these places, I generally get them out of the way. Yeah. See, one thing Final Fantasy has over the Tales series in terms of side quests is that, generally speaking, when it comes to a Tales of side quest, the timing is rather bad. Like, you could easily miss it real easily, especially in Tales of the Abyss. So technically, I can be here at this point in the game, but I shouldn't be. What about that third chest? I that's actually through a hidden passage, I'll be getting to that in a second. So because I'm going to this, I think earlier than the developers wanted me to go to, the enemies here can whip my ass. And they can whip your ass too, if you're following this as some sort of guide. So be prepared. You wouldn't know that by judging how much damage Johnny just took. Well, no, evil dreamers are not really magic users, but they do hurt. I say, yeah. <laughs> you see? <laughs> Wait, actually, no, I don't see. That was Edge. Very true, very true. But uh, you know, consider that a uh, uh, main course. I guess uh, Cecil and King will be getting samplers. Oh, uh, he's dead in there. That's going to happen a lot, ladies and gentlemen. Just heads up. Evil Dreamers are actually my least favorite enemies in this cave, besides the obvious later tentacle demons we'll be getting to later on in the game. Because you run into these guys the most often, out of all the other random encounters. And they have no problem putting you to sleep they, and knocking you out, hence the name they Evil They cast Dreamer. Fira, they cast Sleep, and they physically attack you. And they never seem to run out of MP. Oh, that's going to be expected. I never really expect any RPG enemy to run out of any. And you can also fight a formation of six rather than three. Ah, uh, that's lovely. That gets annoying. But Sylph Cave in itself... Big Red! Sylph Cave in itself is actually my least favorite area in the entire game, bar none. Mm. I'm not counting optional dungeons from, like, the Game Boy Advance release or the... Well, they're in this version, too, actually, but... 
And in terms of just like the main game itself, the Sylph Cave, I can't stand. It's a labyrinth. The treasures are generally worth to, you know, go out of your way to get. But the enemies you encounter in this cave are fucking annoying. They take forever to kill. And you have to... And this is the first... This not, no, this is technically not the first cave, does it? This this cave has a gimmick that the floor is lava, lava. <laughs> and you have, to, you have to cast float on yourself every time you enter a different room. You know what, given how often you've really used float so far, I figure, fuck it, may as well get some use out of it. I just don't like how you have to constantly recast it. You know, that's my only gripe with the whole... I would blame the interface more so than the level itself on that one. You know, it doesn't seem like the entire floor, just the green shit. It's, yeah, there's nothing the entire The green shit, let's try that again in an all-green cave. <laughs> <laughs> the thick green acid. Yeah, I, I always concerned it was acid. Well, I don't know what that was supposed to be, but, but whatever. It's dangerous, and that's all that matters. It looks like plant goop. Fairy rod, uh, miracle grow, miracle grow, Mir uh, dangerous to humans. <laughs> oh boy, miracle whip. Mi no, that's that's mayonnaise. Man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you're wondering why I'm is mayonnaise a weapon? If you're wondering why I'm constantly pausing or not seem to be going anywhere, I actually have a map on standby with me because uh, I I never I always forget where to go in the self cave. There are a lot of places sometimes in games you can't really easily remember that off the top of no. your head. This is one of them for me. And generally, when, on a typical playthrough of mine, I go to the Fey March first before I go to the Self Cave. But the reason why I'm going to the Self Cave now is for something that we'll be getting a little more resolution on later down the road. But I'm doing it now Higher because... Quality? No. No. <laughs> because I'm doing it now to get it out of the way and to get those treasures a bit earlier than usual. On the I just have to deal with all these damn random encounters. Anyway, new encounter, we have Elder Treant. Trees who pack a punch when trees attack. Yes, but they hit. They hit harder than evil dreamers. Well, given that they have the force of tree behind them, I'd like to imagine so. And they also like to cast berserk on themselves, so they can hit harder. You know what? You gotta hand it to elder trans. At least they know not to step outside their role. <laughs> Edge killed one. Even Edge can't believe it. Well, actually, uh, one of the weapons I have equipped to, I think it was, I think it's, I think he has it on right now. Um, the he has the, uh, the boomerang or the full moon. Uh huh. That works wonders against flying enemies because it's considered a thrown weapon. Right. Uh, so you know, if you've got a, if you've got a bat problem, let Edge handle it. So the, you really got to cater just to swap bats. It's <laughs> <laughs> our exterminator. Why not? Pest control. Edgy. Ed. <laughs> What? <laughs> I was, you know, ever since you said Ed, I kind of imagined his name is just playing Ed, and then he just calls himself Edge for the hell of it. Well, all you gotta do is add a G E. Yeah. Oh wait, I get it now. Ed Gee. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so that's I was a little slow <laughs> on that one. <laughs> Boy, am I glad we can fly. I really wish at this point of the game angel wings were introduced, but those aren't until Final Fantasy VI. Accessory. Yeah. Auto float. Auto float. Huh. Maiden kiss. Fuck her off, sweetie. Kiss. Uh, I wonder... If what do you think the maiden kiss item looks like? Uh... I don't Johnny, you seem to forgot... <laughs> John, what are you doing? <laughs> John, John, stop! stop. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... I don't know what the maiden kiss looks like as an item. Yeah, in Final know. Fantasy VI, they were called green cherries, and that's usually divisible. That's easy to imagine, yeah, but maiden kiss is kind of hard. Okay, that was weird. But did, anyway, you drink, we, uh, did you actually drink the green stuff? <laughs> <laughs> One day later. By the way, we'll our main objective here is to find the um, red stuff, I believe. Or is it blue? I'm not sure. You gotta find a red and yellow mixture, and then it becomes the orange stuff you need. Uh, we have Bog Witch and we have Bog Toads. They only do one thing in this battle, and Dude. that's cast Toad. And Dude. they all move in order. So the moment the Bog Witch says Ribbit, all six Toads move. And it's always Toad. By the way, don't you have an accessory that prevents that? Do I? I don't know. Generally, because, generally speaking, I always like to try to arm myself a little bit before a given situation, so well, I don't fall yeah, victim to that. Well, well, you're preventing status elements? Yeah. Yeah, because, let me not, be honest with you. Ail ailment. 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 Conditions. <laughs> what are you, Miyamoto? Ailment. <laughs> anyway, which I would call it. Ever since the whole frog, ever since the whole Frog Song Massacre of Final Fantasy 7. My very, very first playthrough of any Final Fantasy game. Yeah. Ever since the Frog Song Massacre, I've always learned 
you know what? Maybe I'll just equip this accessory that specifically prevents frog and sleep. You're talking I don't about fall the frog. Sleep. You're talking about the frog enemies inside that forest near the um near the what's the name of the Cosmo Canyon? No, not the yeah, it's there. It's there's but a it forest right outside of Cosmo Canyon where you fight six of them in the game. But it's right you. outside of where's Gongaga? Gongaga, there you go. That's the more. Uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. But I generally avoid that area, though. <laughs> Maybe I, because I, I want Frog Song. I do Frog Song. Oh, you're trying to level up the enemy skill material. You, why don't you? Enemy skills rock. I, I generally ignore it. No way, dude. Blue sk Blue Magic is hilariously busted well, in any uh, Final Fantasy except save for the Except for the one spell that casts Barrier and Barrier in Haste. Big Guard. Big Guard. There yeah, but believe, dude, no, no. I like I, Big Guard. No, I said was that there's far more to enemy skills than just Big Guard. There's a lot of fun to do with that magic materia. I mean, I, 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 I maxed it out before. So have I, but like, and so have I, and like I said, I always get a great mileage out of it. Blue magic is broken in every Final Fantasy game since, except for 10, and honestly, and 7, six. Show, I didn't six. find it very useful in 6. Yeah, well, that's go go. That's Draco. <laughs> I has played 6 twice! <laughs> I think that's what- no, you know what it is? It is Go-Go, I just don't use Strago. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like your name is Spaghetti Sauce. <laughs> no, it reminds me of the um, old book I once read in, like, third grade, Strago Nona. Yeah. Strago Nona. <laughs> Strago Nona. Anyway, so, the very few- the last few treasure chests that we need to get, you saw them, there are six of them, are all monster in boxes. Jinx. <sighs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, Cecil just goes, fuck it. That was one. And technically, they're all mandatory encounters, so I'm showing each and every single one of them off. Because Johnny hates hates this part, so will you. They're, they're, not, they're not all evil Buster dreamers, the though. Let's see what we got this time. Oh, shit. Malboro. We have Elder Treants, and we have Malboros. Not the cigarettes. The tentacle demons. So, well, technically, the cigarettes are Marlboros. Well, and <laughs> sorry. One bad that's letter says That's not Marlboro. This is my original character, Marlboro. <laughs> but, uh, oh, boy. Bad breath. Uh, and, Kane, and Kane has just become a confused, silenced toad. Confused, silenced, blind. He's also technically a pig. Yeah. But toad overrides it for some reason. Probably because being a toad is worse than being a pig. Malboros always open the battle with bad breath. That's the first attack they always do. After that, they'll physically attack you, then they'll do, uh... A bile, which is pretty much acid. Can I ask you a question, Johnny? What's up? Given that the majority of the enemies here are plant monsters, why are you not using the fire gen? Because Gaia's Wrath tends to do more damage. Okay. Who? <laughs> I, I, I don't I was, know. You know what? Actually, that makes a good sense in, game, in story integration as well. Considering you're in a giant plant cave, I thought the last thing you want to do is set the whole place on fire with you in it. <laughs> burn it down! Burn it down! Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I like to imagine them afterwards, they all step outside of the cave and then they just burn it down. Oh, the rose will learn Kiraja. 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 Kiraja, Maja. Kiraja. The highest level cure spell in the game. Bitchin'. Also cost the most, though. Uh, okay, what do we got this time? Oh, god damn. Oh, and I got ambushed! Oh no, it's the dark, it's the fucking Omega Caverns all over again! Uh, Marlboro, Marlboro Menaces or Great Marlboro? Great Marlboro. Great Marlboro. Marlboro Menace was the original species. Was uh, yeah. Arena? They're not original no, per se, but also. It, it was a Reno monster. Yeah. Fucking. No, actually, no, because I always kind of went first strike. That's what I always did too in the yeah. Omega Caves, or never left the party for that reason. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but this is where I'm going to put a silver hourglass to use. Stops all of them. I do. Li oh my God! Look at Kane's dead toad. <laughs> he croaked. But I'm tish. <laughs> Thank you, and good night. <laughs> oh man! I still say sevens. No, eights was the worst bad breath. Wait, well, what did that do? Every every fucking thing in the book. It was like Doom Train. Everything. Everything. If you didn't negate it, you were fucked. <laughs> it would kill you and turn you into a zombie. No, it <laughs> killed you and croaked and stoned you. You were put under two different counters. You were put under the Doom counter and the Petrification counter. I think the only status it didn't do was Vitality Zero. I'm trying to remember, was it Nine that did that? What, the Vitality Zero? No, Nine. Am I thinking of... There's the Fire Gen. Booyah. Oh, you're right. No, I'm thinking of, uh... Uh, fuck it. Necron. Necron 9. Grand Cross. Was that the damaging move or was that the all? Was that the multi-status? Multi oh, uh, shit. Only? 
That offhand, I couldn't tell you. I know it's Grand Cross. That was the really naughty one. Yeah, but I'm trying to... Fuck, what was it? Mm. Neutron Ring. That was, may be it. Was that what... Uh, yeah, the one that casts all randomly yeah. spells on you. Sometimes I would die and get zombie on me. Uh, I yeah. can't revive the character. <laughs> he wants you to stay dead. <laughs> Pour some holy water on it. <laughs> and then use a phoenix down. No, you had to use a spell tag in that one. But that was before I learned the real benefits of the... Um, the system? The, 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 um, the, the magic stone system. Yeah. You know, the... Oh boy. Oh, boy. We'll be getting more to that once we get the Final Fantasy 9. I can't wait, that's one of my I really can't either. But, uh... I'd honestly like to get to all the... Like, I'd rather do we're 9 do, or... We're, do, we're doing 5 after this one. We're doing the Game Boy Advance version of that one. As soon as I learn how to play and beat it. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we can actually probably get to, like, 6 beforehand. No, I want to do 5 before 6. Alright, but like I said, I'll have to get to... I want to alternate between Final Fantasy. Like, I play one, you play one, I play one, you play one. But then you realize it's going to go 4, 5, 6, and I'm doing 7. Well, no, no, we don't have to do them all in sequential order. They're not related. That's just it, though. So why can't we just jump to 9? Because I love 5, I love 7, I don't mind 6 anymore. 8's going to be a bitch. But I really do love Final Fantasy 9. And Edge died. What? Oh, I wasn't looking. <laughs> I'm not I'm Edge, kind of, Edge is one of those kind of guys that really seems to collapse under the pressure of a well-aimed fart. Well, that's... It'd be annoying. I wouldn't Berg die. Red. I the gum. Big steps. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to have a pattern for them. You seem to have a pattern for beating them down. Now I just wish you didn't die half the damn time. Christ! Now we're almost. We only have four chests. There. We still have two more chests to go. In case you couldn't tell, yes, this entire part is dedicated to the self cave. <laughs> oh, you know, I like to imagine one of the guys going, getting real tired of your shit here, Edge. Christ, fire tornado. Uh. Meanwhile, you're just getting lit. Meanwhile, your ass is getting lit on fire like a freaking Christmas tree. I don't set fire to my Christmas trees. Your Christmas is suck. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why is Cecil's MP consistently at one? You just didn't bother using the ether? I use. When it comes to, like, uh, healing in between battles, I generally use Cecil's MP first before going to Rosa. Yeah, because Cecil ain't really using... Wait, does Cecil have slow? No. I don't believe he does. Oh. Off the top of my head now. I think he just has few cures and Libra. So, Cecil's white magic is by and large worthless. Thank you, Augment System, for getting rid of that. <laughs> I turned Cecil into a meat shield. He runs in front of every hit, takes the counter, counter stacks anyway. I think so you, gives... you, got, you got the counter Augment on him? Yeah. That's what I meant too. I actually would have mind counter in this game. I, I would have liked counter. Mm -hmm. Alright, one more monster in a box chest to go. Versus Leviathan. Fuck! <laughs> Shinryu. What? <laughs> <laughs> ah, tunnelers. Ah, uh, lovely. Or centipedes. Tunnelers always use... die. No, oh, yeah, they're, they're actually the weakest enemy in the self cave, but they have the most powerful attack earthquake. Lovely. Pretty much punishing you for not using float. I would argue the real absurdity of Gigapeed using Earthquake, then again, I played, then again, I raised a Scolipede. Anyway, so that exit that we saw there from the church just takes us outside, so you can use this point to use a cottage, recharge, and then head back inside, because we're not done yet. Back into the poisonous cave, Cecil? Yeah, why what, yeah, what made you say that, Kane? <laughs> I just figured you an ass. <laughs> Delicious coffee. You haven't had coffee like this. I don't really drink coffee. Oh, well, I kind of fell in love after college. Okay. It's my Jesus juice. Personal Jesus, you lift up the receiver, I make you a believer. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we took one pathway before, now we're going to take the opposite pathway. Uh, Rosa feels really helpful and loved here. She's my float bitch. <laughs> <laughs> right when you called her a float bitch, I kind of imagined Cecil trying to like fly on her. <laughs> Giddy up! <laughs> Using your hair as a <laughs> yeah rains as a rain yeah. But uh, by the way, right when you did that, I kind of imagined you got flushed into the green stuff. <laughs> All right, almost done here, ladies and gentlemen. I don't like this place either. God damn it, that was Marlboros. <laughs> I imagine. <laughs> Self cave basement one, basement harder. Maybe this place is nothing but cannabis. 
Why, Canada? No, it's said cannabis. Oh. So that's, that's what I get for using the scientific term for weed. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, actually, I was just being stupid to be make a joke, but, um... Yeah, maybe. It ain't like, it ain't like you know, every place human has gone... Not every human's ventured in every single force in the world, so to speak. Lightning arrows. Ice, ice arrows. arrows. Fire, fire arrows. Rather Ether. basic arrows, because... Again, another thing I missed from the DS version. Once you get a certain type of arrow, that's the only one you need. Yeah. You don't have to keep restocking them. Because, you know, you get you get good arrows, like silence arrows. You get, you know, angel arrows or yoichi arrows. You know, but you only get, like, ten of them. Right. And then you end up playing, and then you end up playing the conservatist. Like, yes. I really don't want to spend this. Unless, the, unless I'm missing a location where you can buy them or find more of them to the point where you don't need to ever worry about them ever again, but I don't think those those places exist in this version of the game. If the need isn't there, I highly doubt it is. Yeah, but you know, just for the sake of changing go north. up. I miss it in an hour's too. Rosa, what the fuck did I tell you? <laughs> float, bitch. What are you doing? And then she's and then she takes away Cecil's float. Ah! <laughs> My knees. Wow, that is like the one place I would not take a nap. Sure, don't stop you though. <laughs> <laughs> it's a safe zone. It's safe among all the fucking toxic. It's also a makeshift moat. Uh, well, yeah. where are we going at this point? Uh, well, <laughs> again, I, I take pauses to look at the map. If you look, so listen close to the music fading out or transitioning, that's what I'm looking at the map. But uh, we're almost done, actually, because uh, because the video says it is. <laughs> and the, uh, Because the video says it is, our time in torment is nearly over. Jesus Christ, who the hell fought you there? I believe that might have been either Elder Treants getting the, the ambush on me, or it could be Marlboros. Nah, I just saw HP damage. Treants, most likely Treants then. Ribbit. Is it, you think uh, Rydia would kiss one of the toads and make it wake up, or does that have to be Rose's job because she's the white mage? Are you going for a prince and the princess and the frog reference? Or? Yes. Oh uh, well. What did you think I was going for? Maybe that's what Maiden's Kiss means. Oh. Yeah, yeah that's, the kind of, that's the point of the homage. What I'm saying, though, is that, um... You think they would? Where the hell? Oh, so so. This is your house? Christ, your place fucking sucks. Anyway. Oh, what's that? We got cat claws. We got hell claws, too. I can't use these. I can pawn them. Oh, uh, my goodness. Oh, Yang's alive. Oh, look at that. Well, Again, no, it's, it's, no, technically, no, it's the facial dead. hair. He used the facial hair, yeah. The facial hair is keeping him alive. But Yang's still... Yang's well, still unconscious, apparently. Yeah, he survived the explosion, because, you know, God forbid someone actually fucking dies after Tella. But, uh, yeah, but he's... He's unconscious. We gotta... Maybe we can wake him up. We but, need... I think we're gonna need a real... We're gonna need to apply some real force on the method. Yeah. Be a good, Honestly, this was one of my maybe, favorite... Maybe a good boop in the head. Honestly, that was, this is one of my favorite scenes in Final Fantasy IV, just for this year. Comical fire. What, the, the um... Yeah. Oh, well, well, actually, well, unfortunately, we're not gonna be seeing that now, because... We have Next week, we'll wake up young. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I don't think so either. Well, maybe. We never know. But we're not done with the optional side quest yet, ladies and gentlemen. For next week, we're heading into the Fey March. See you guys then.